Shalom, shalom. 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 First and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakurash. We'd like to give double honor to Apostle Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. We want to give a mighty shalom to all the Akim and Aqua staying in this truth and faith, rooted day in and day out, pushing his word and his will of the Lord. Will of the Lord. So the younger brothers from the Gary Branch of Great Millstone be the brother Iwa. Yeah, Quab. Yeah, what's up? And today we're going to start off with Mark 10 and 27 and flow in the spirit. Lord willing, this video is edifying. And with that, I'll get the first scripture. Mark 10 and 27. It states, And Yahweh Shai, looking upon them, said, Slack, okay. Slack, if you start at uh, 6, 26. Kind of, I got you. Mark 10 and 26. And they were astonished out of measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? All right? It says, And Yahweh Shai, looking upon them, said with man, It is impossible. But not with Yahweh, but with Yahweh, all things are possible. Okay. Are you reading the NLT? Yeah, I was trying to get that. It says the the disciples were astounded. Then who in the world can be served? What's like it? Who can be saved? They asked. Yahweh shot looking at them intently and said, "Humanly speaking, it is impossible. But with Yahweh, everything is possible with Yahweh." Kind, but not with Yahweh. Like but not with Yahweh, everything is possible with Yahweh. Because humanly speaking, we're all imperfect, you know, and if we were under the law, you know, what I'm saying no flesh would be saved. However, with Yahweh, it is possible because why he said Yahweh saw to be that perfect sacrifice for the ultimately the elect starting, but really for the whole nation, you oh. know, but those are the ones who's going to be saved it is the elect in these times because again, Yahweh Shai did. He laid the foundation. He was the example. He was that lamb without blemish. That was that, what did it say? He was a ransom. I'll grab it real quick. Um, if I may, real quick. Uh, Mark, Mark 10 and 45. Spirit's still in Mark. Mark 10 and 45. It says, For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. You know, because, again, we're not perfect. And this is why, you know, if we were perfect, if we were without error, there'll be no need for Yahweh Shai. Right. You know, he came not to heal the uh, the righteous, but the sick. You know, and we're all <laughs> we're all sick. We're all with that sin. Anybody saying otherwise deceives himself. Huh. You know, as I said, it's not humanly possible. Nothing in this world and not even yourself is going to be able to save yourself in that day of judgment right did not the Lord. that's why in the um, book of judges he said i saved you this i saved you from all these different people but yet you still serve other gods he says so call upon them gods mm -hmm. tell them to save you in the time of your tribulation but really he was scoffing you because he knows that your gods are no gods and that they're not going to be able to save you in that day yep. Worship them that make flesh thy arm that on their arms mm -hmm. right so it's all it's all it's all going to come to naught i got a precept back you up this is a uh, proverbs um, I was what? No, matter of fact, uh, let's say my people do not consider uh, Isaiah, I think. Oh, look at my people. Um, or they do not consider. Might uh, be Isaiah, Isaiah 1 and 3. Khan. Because, the, the, like the brother Iraq had mentioned, you know what I'm saying? Um, majority of our people, well, two thirds of our people here in America, Babylon the Great, they don't know the Lord. Mm. And, you know. It's the same ones going out there voting <laughs> today for to set up a king over them to mm -hmm. thinking that they got America to lean back upon, thinking that shit's going to go back to normal when it was never normal in the first place and not seeing Pick America back. crumbling right before their very eyes. Like the brother just said, lean upon Egypt, that Isaiah 30 spirit mm -hmm. going into going into the devil to try to add sin upon sin when in all reality, you're not doing anything but what's it called increasing your debt with the Lord. God. The same way the, the the Esau Edom is building up his Rico case, it says, "Though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not go and punish." Mm -hmm. So you're going to be punished right with them due to the fact. Exactly. Yep. This is uh, Isaiah one and two. It says, "Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord Yahweh have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me." Right, and the only ones that He's mm. raised up is the nation of Israel. So you have all this gain from the Lord, but yet you're rebelling against him. You're, you're, you're giving somebody else praise for these things and doing the things that the Lord don't find pleasable, right? He said, um, 
What is it called? Like I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Nourished. He's giving you all the things that you need, uh, your daily goods. But yet, when it comes time to actually serve the Lord, you don't want to do these things. Mm -hmm. What you say, on Sock? I was just trying to see what you said. Um, okay, Isaiah, uh, real quick, one more verse. It says, Isaiah 1 and 3, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Mm. You know, so even as... Um, as stubborn as a donkey or ox, they know their master, you know, animals, a beast. But here it is. You got the children of the most high not knowing who their power is, God. you know, not considering why they're in the predicament that they're in and and not, know, or, you know, what I'm saying not even caring, really, you know, about the Lord and what he has done for us or having any type of respect for him. You, uh, you finish up? Yeah, that was it today. Uh, you got that last part? I'll get verse four. It says... Now, read three again. Okay. Really, uh, maybe I'm tweaking, but I think... Okay. Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. God, his people do not consider. They don't consider the Lord and do, um, what's it called, when they wake up. They take things like waking up, having food, having a roof over their head is all as things that they should have. In our reality, it's a blessing. Yeah. I remember one day, uh, my own testimony, I was with the brother Yasrala, and we were running. I got one. And we were running, and my asthma started acting up. People don't realize that's a blessing in itself to not have those type of ailments in their body. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You got one, Sop? Right, no. Um, I get one. Because I don't know why this, this has been one of my favorite scriptures lately, but it goes into it. Um, give me one moment. Give me one moment. I'm trying to get exactly my point. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Um, actually, I'll read both sides of the coins. This is 2nd Edris 9 and verse 7. It says, And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. You believed upon the Lord. Right? That's one of the main things. It says, well, uh, the beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the first step or uh, pretty much um, getting cleansed. Right. Foundation. It's just like when a, a person in AA, what's the first thing? You have to stop being a denial. Stop denying the Lord. Ah. Uh, right. Yeah, you, uh, you, you got, got it. it. No, you got I was going to say, uh, you got to repent. Ultimately, that, that's what it boils down to. It said, um, wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul. Uh -huh. And we have to thank Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because we were once uh, carried away onto idols like the Gentiles, not okay. considering. But we give thanks unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushua again because the gift that we have is the faith. You know what I'm saying? Faith is even a gift. This truth is a gift. Yep. You know, and we are just living testimonies, bringing out the message, the, the vessels uh, of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua's word for the hope for Israel. Mm. You know, to let our people know it's time to repent. You know, while while there still is time, what do they say? Uh, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Because yep. we're coming into times to where <laughs> he's not going to be found. That grace period is slowly closing. Mm -hmm. It's like a door. It's like your screen door to your house. When you open it, what happens? It naturally starts to close. So that's just like the time that you have on this world. It says, this is not your rest. So knowing that this is not our rest, what did it say? Knowing that all these things shall come to pass, what man or person ought to be? Mm-hmm. Right, so we know what we should be doing, but yet Israel continues to do the opposite. And yeah. this is why they're going to end up in a terrible case. What to say, uh, uh, damn, what to say, w willingly or knowingly? I'm going to try to grab it. You got it. This is, uh, that was out. Uh, you got one that's like, because if not, I can keep it. It's up to you. You got one. I got Romans uh, 13. You can get there and I'll come back. I think that's probably what he's looking for. Kind of, this is Romans 13, starting at verse 11. Oh. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake up wake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe the night is far spent the dark is like the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and mm -hmm. let us put on the armor of light mm -hmm. so yeah exactly what self-explaining to it like i always say you know so to pretty much break that down we got to put off our old deeds you know we got to put off the old man and put on what the lord wants to be you know doing the righteous acts that uh the righteous works you know if i may like my big brother yasrawa always says he says 
when I was a child, I did childish things. Let me paraphrase it. I get that. But first. now that I'm exactly, if you can get that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That goes right with what you just said. I got you. Yeah, that's weird. That's super weird. This is First Corinthians 13 and 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I, underst I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. God, so before the Lord had gave us that unction to wake up and get this truth, we were doing childish things. Things that was going to lead us straight to death. But when the Lord gave us the unction, it's time to wake up. It's time to come back. I'm, I'm calling to you. We put mm -hmm. those childish things away. We put the world away. We girded up our wounds like a man. That old man has to die daily so the new man may, uh, may thrive. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go good. back to Yeah, I got this. Um, it says, verse 8, Second Edges 9 and 8. It says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. So how are you going to see these things? By believing upon the Lord and doing what the Lord finds pleasable, man. It's, it's only two ways. It says, did it not say broad is a way that leads to destruction? But narrow, <clears throat> what's it called? Narrow, how did that go? Matthew 7? I'll grab it. That leads to destruction, but narrow for the straight. Or if I paraphrase it, I can't. I'm trying uh, uh, I got you. This is uh, Matthew 7. And 13, it says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Ah, so there's many ways to fall into that death trap, man. It's sin around every corner. But there's only one way to enter the kingdom of heaven. I was going to call you Howard. You got to enter through, through that, um, what's that, that doorpost? Through that door, yep. And he's sitting there waiting for you to get right with you. Right, so back in verse eight, it says, "Shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land, within my borders, for I have sanctified them, for me from the beginning. Come. Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, to abuse the Lord's grace period. Mm -hmm. Just like back in that, um, was it called Second Peter? He says, "Some do count slackness. The Lord's not being slack. He's doing this for your sake, so that you may get right, so that He doesn't have to punish you. He doesn't want to punish you, but He's going to punish you for your betterment." God. It says, Then shall I be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. You're going to dwell in torments, just like in that Proverbs 1 and 20, because he said, Oh, simple, how long, you, how long you love simplicity? You chose these things of the world before you chose the Lord. So when you had, what's it called, turn this reproof, reproof, when you call upon him, he's going to laugh and turn, uh, turn at you. Just like what the brother started with. The Lord's not going to be sitting there waiting on you forever. Mm hmm. It says, for such as in their life have received benefits and not have known me. So you received the words, you received the fatness of this land with Esau eating, but you have not paid respect and deal with the Lord as asked, not once. Everybody gives much lip service, but their what he say, their their hearts, their minds are far from him. Mm -hmm. It says, verse eleven, and they have loathed my law. They hated the law. They felt like the law was was pretty much grievous into them. <clears throat> Why well, I gotta do this? Why well, I gotta do that? I like eating pork. I, my, my granddaddy ate pork all his life. I get right when I want to. That's a terrible spirit to have. That's a reprobate spirit. I got a precept real quick to back you up. This uh -huh. is uh, because that law going into not only the law but the law representing the whole book, all the all the scriptures. So this is uh, Proverbs thirteen and thirteen. It says, "Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed." Point blank. Period. Those that hate the word, those that despise the word. Those that ultimately hate the Lord, they're going to be destroyed. It says, but what? But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Huh. So he always gives you double fold to, to that sword. If, did he not say, bring them before me that don't want uh, that don't want me to serve over them mm -hmm. and slay them? Well, slay them before me, right? So it's either you're going to get slayed or you're going to fall in line and bow that knee. And the Lord may, may give you a crown if you do what you need to do. All right. It says, and they... You know, what's it like? No, nah, I had the uh, the word loathe real quick since uh, you brought it out. It says, uh, yeah, yeah, loathe. And the etymon, it says Old English. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Lyoin or Lyo. 
Leoin. <laughs> it says be hateful or displeasing from Lao hated hateful. Be evil or hateful to hate. You're hating <laughs> that you gotta work on yourself. You're hating mm -hmm. that you gotta acknowledge the things that you're doing wrong. That's why it says with people that have um a, a what's it called a drug habit, you can't save nobody that don't want to be saved. Right. They have to want to be saved. All right. These people, like the brother said, these people don't think they're sick. They ignore all the symptoms. Right. Try to run away from you know what I'm saying the problem at hand. Um, I'm gonna finish this. You can get that. I'll read straight through. It says, and they that loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, then understood not, but despised it. The same was know it after death by pain. So they despised yeah. the grace period. They took the grace period. They didn't even see what the grace period really was. You that's what exactly. That's like uh, your teacher say. I'm finna give y'all a test, but I'm finna run to the bathroom real quick. Mm -hmm. Look over y'all study guide. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I don't need to study God. That's crazy. Right. Because what did he say? Uh, he said, those that believe not are condemned already. Because, mm -hmm. again, yeah, how was shy? Uh, man, bro. He already got here. Yeah. Exactly, man. He, man. He already, once he walked out that classroom, <laughs> he knew. He knew who was it. Yeah. Billy ass ain't gonna look at this. <laughs> he ain't gonna look at this study God. Like, he gave us the answer. It's right in front of us, you know what I'm saying, right. for the taking, so to speak. And we got to utilize his blood. Yep. You know, that's why, again, we give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Mm. To the Father through His Son, because it's through the Son where even we even have a chance of salvation. Yep. Shout out to you, another man. Come. That I have. I got two precepts to go with you, man. What you have, bro? Go ahead. I'm going to start off with Second uh, Corinthians 4 and verse 4. Come. Wait till y'all get it. Matthew, I'm sorry, verse 3. I'm there. Come. Mm. So it says. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 3, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, from whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, mm. lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So it's, so let's go into that word gospel. You know, it's pretty much going to the good news. Huh. So if you, if it's, if it's hidden unto you, it says it's, it's hidden by the God of this world. You know, it blinded them. And who's the God of this world? Esau, Edom. Who do, who do Jake always follow after, you know? And still be getting fucked over by. Come on. Mm -hmm. like, come on these, time and time people, again. Yeah, time and time again, our people keep on trusting this devil. You know? It, if I may, it's the spirit. The uh, the elder apostle of Ramlab had just went into a lesson today going into, um, I forgot the website, but it's basically showing, it's like a gallery showing all of the uh, historical photos of the so-called uh, black people judites and it could be some of the tribes mixed in but uh lynchings the lynchings all the lynchings from the 1900s 1800s mm -hmm. and you got uh, some of our people who just want to you know what i'm saying not deal with it or act like it didn't happen sided with esau happen. edom come yeah that's crazy that was so long that was your grandparents you are your grandparents you goofy but that, that was wasn't even that long ago that like <laughs> come. That's, why I, that's why i always like to bring up because uh people think uh Slavery ended, you know, when they when they said it did. But when you go back into history, you could look it up. It was still, it was still slavery going, still go, still going on in the sixties and the seventies. They just put it under a different name, mm. you know. Technically, still slavery going on now. Yeah, prison system. Yep. <laughs> yep. People act foolish. I'm gonna get this last priest up. Damn, I'm gonna let y'all do whatever. Okay. God. This is uh, Zechariah seven. I'm get straight to the point in eleven. I got it. It says, but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. And where they were, they refusing to hear, you know, the good news, the gospel, the the warning, everything that could possibly save their life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Verse 12. Yeah, they made their hearts as Adam and stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. So the same type of spirit the Lord put on Pharaoh and he gonna put on Esau Edom, he gonna put the same way, he gonna do the same thing to his people, the two thirds of his people, you know, cause they in the same spirit as, as uh Esau Edom. Calm was it uh uh to back you up, Zechariah eight. Zechariah seven eleven. I was at uh, verse twelve, so I can But yeah, Lord since they wanna keep making their heart uh Hard towards the Lord and his and his prophets and the warnings. 
Hey, they say hey, it came a great wrath from the Lord of Hosts. You know, it's going to be the missiles. And it's going to be uh the chariots, and it's going to be Esau Edom. And it's going to be justified. And it's going to be justified, like the brother said. You have to realize, like, y'all doing this here yourselves. The Lord's giving you the potion for free. But yeah, what do you do? Slap the potion away, and then you're going to blaspheme the Lord and his servants. If I make, I get this uh, 13th verse to prove what you just saying? Yeah. Yeah. It said, therefore, it came to pass that as he cried, they would not hear. Mm -hmm. So they cried, and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. And what does that link back up with? Just Proverbs that. 1 and 20. Uh, was it called 20 on down? He's justified because this grace period, he's calling upon you every oh. day. Every day that you have breath in your lungs is a day to turn to the Lord. But yeah, what do you choose to do? Man, I'm... Fuck these lungs. Let me smoke a blunt. <laughs> <laughs> like, God. All right, bro. What's the two-third precept? This is gave me right now. Uh, 13. 13, uh, 11. Yep. 13, 8. 8. 8. It's a lock. Yeah, oh, man, I was catching a blink. Just to back you up. This is a... And y'all can break it down. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Just think of a piece of a, a piece of pie. You know, the, the large majority of that piece of gone. Mm -hmm. Thrown into the fire. Ain't really wanted by the Lord right now. Small percentile. Yeah. And then that, that one third, you know, that, that third that should be left there in, you know, that's the remnant. That's the, uh, the, the elect, you know, the 144,000 and the elect. Just like a military army. And those that want to be on that SEAL Team 6, everybody not going to be able to endure that training. So what happens? People start falling off. Or you have those that, that don't even do it in the first place. Mm -hmm. But in the end, it's only a small group of men that were trained up and able to complete that mission. Uh -huh. Y'all got something else? Well, you already got nine? That was, you get nah, nine. I had a precept. Let me go back to it, though. This is uh, 1 Peter 4, and uh, I'll just get to point 18. It says, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Shit. <laughs> you know, so if, if the righteous, which is ultimately uh, um, covering the elect, you know, that's going to be the righteous, what it say, uh, uh, those that believe. You know what I'm saying? Those that have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, those are the ones counted righteous in these times. Those men, women, children, they're scarcely going to be saved. <laughs> so where is the ungodly and the sinner appear? If I may add, if we barely know if we're going to make it. <laughs> right, exactly. If we're going to be in crazy situations. How much more for the unbelievers? <laughs> hey, look. If you I may, crazy. You crazy. If I may, <laughs> the book of Eli, when he was at that cannibal's house, he said, we gonna make it," he said. "What your Lord said about us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about so. Yeah, that's a real spill. If you're not a believer, you already cooked. Yeah, through. Damn, that goes through. back to that. It says, yeah, you condemned um, already. That that here by the, um, the God of this earth. Um, what it says in that seer, their conscience is seer. Oh, uh, conscience seer. What a hell, man! Come. Uh, it says. Um, that was that was it to that. You can go back to. Uh, finishes Zechariah thirteen. And nine last verse, it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined. And what he's doing that now, uh, spiritually, but then also as well, uh, through the fire, literally. Well, we're going to be changed in a blinking, of, uh, uh, blinking, twinkling of an eye. You know what I'm saying? While that fire is hidden, while the missiles are hidden and, and the Lord is coming back with his chariots, you know what I'm saying? The laser beams, the concentrated laser beams of fire. What we're gonna be uh, um, beamed up because our bodies are gonna be left here to burn, you know. But ultimately, what we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be refined and changed like that. Uh, what's that scripture that says? It's pretty much like they both went through the fire, but you did it for no reason, and the other one went through the fire. I got you. You uh, know what I'm talking about? Second Ezra seven. Yep. I got you. Yeah, that third part, man. The 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 elect. Uh, it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and try them as gold is dried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people and they shall say, the Lord is my power. So that's twofold, man. Did he not say they going to call my name and he's he not going to hear them because they didn't hear him? <laughs> but what did he say to these group that did hear him? Hey, I, I, I hear you. Y'all my people. <laughs> it's like, uh, it reminds me, it was in the Gospels. It said, um, it was the Lord. 
Ah, oh, man. It said some heard thunder. Yeah. Some heard thunder. Yeah, the when, others when heard. Moses came up to uh, Mount Sinai to, yeah. to speak with the Lord. You know, and then they were talking crazy. The, the Israelites were talking about, yeah, we want to talk to the Lord, too. <laughs> the Lord started, started talking. Boy, nah, talking, yeah, cool. you, you, you talk to him. Yeah, you got it. I, uh, terrified. Imagine hearing some crazy thunder. Like, oh, that, uh, that was another account, but I, I got this one real quick. But that too. Oh, you that, on the new, in the new Testament? Yeah, I got it. It's, it's uh, John 20. Uh, talking, speaking in tongues. God, the, oh, and that's another one too. But this is John 12 and 28. It says, Father, glorify thy name. It's, that was Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, And then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. It says, The people therefore that stood by and heard it said that it thundered. Others said, An angel spake to him. Mm. So that <laughs> you got you got the difference, man. Some have the inkling or their minds open, their eyes open, their ears yeah, open. That frequency. And then some they just heard the thunder. It wasn't it wasn't meant for them to get or to receive. <laughs> yeah, you, gotta be on, you gotta be in that frequency. Why do you speak to them in parables? It's not for them to know. That's so mighty. Know, That's mighty. You got that? Y'all yeah, y'all got That's it. Second address? That's yeah. all I got. This is second address, seven. And verse 18, nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things mm. and hope for why. For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet sh shall not see the why. So you're going through the same oh, shit. Yeah. You still nothing can see on the first <laughs> Yeah. See, that's that's crazy, man. You you wonder why you're going through these things and the Lord's telling you why you're going through these things. You're like, huh. It still ain't the reason why I'm going to take that and I'm going to get this money. Facts. get this bag. That's just like the, the scripture going into the, the graping, you know, and the, and the kidnapping. Mm -hmm. Our people, some of our people ain't calling. They ain't, they ain't crying out. Calm. They ain't Facts. crying out for the Lord. They still want to be here. They still having fun in this in this place. Like brothers mentioned, man, you give Jake a blunt, a bitch, and some money. Oh, yeah, he living. He, he's satisfied. That's all he need. You know. Thank you, business. That's all I had. I mean, I you got some more? Okay. Uh, what verse were you at? So like 18. 18. Okay. Uh, I can skip down. No matter of fact, keep keep reading. Verse 19, he okay. said, I was going to get 20 and 21, I think. Verse 19, he said unto me, there is no judge above the most high, and none that hath understanding above the, above the highest. Mm -hmm. that, for, there, for there be many that perish in this life. Because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. So That's trying, crazy. <laughs> it's set before you. You trying to you trying to do some other shit. Not just a set. It's made plain upon tables at that. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's what we're gonna go to verse twenty one. It says the Most High have given <laughs> have given straight commandment to such as came, with what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should do, what they should observe to avoid punishment. So he not he not making it no confusion. He ain't talking to him. <laughs> Hey, do this, right? And you're, you're gonna live, or you do this and you're gonna die. It's just like back in Deuteronomy, we made that contract. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. And that, that, that goes full circle to what we opened up with. What what man is impossible with the Most High, all things are impossible. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. He can give you. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> if you seen the SpongeBob episode with Mary and Patrick. He said, "This is your wallet." Yeah. You're Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> That's nice. Y'all want me to finish this off? Go ahead. Yeah, you got it. Uh, that's going to be something else. Kind of. It said, nevertheless, they were not obedient to him, but spake against him and imagined vain things and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. Yeah, so pretty much they say, hey, he ain't, he ain't real. He ain't going to do nothing. They knew not his way. They want oh, to go follow. Up. They want to go follow. Eat my ways. They want to go. They want. Our people are Buddhist now. Mm -hmm. Our people are Muslim now. Our people are everything but an Israelite. Come on. Free up. It's cool, though. Oh. Uh, no, is it today? One more verse. Come verse 24. But his law have been, have they despised and denied his covenants. And his statutes have they not been faithful. And have not performed his works. Uh, it is. You know, and then being returned, what now? We gotta seek him ten times more, and then just doing it to the best of our ability, 
um, what they say, and, and judges just rehearsing the righteous acts. Because right. we know we're not going to be perfect. It's going to take the Lord to perfect us. But while we're still here, you know what I'm saying, in our captivity, we, we got to put in the effort and do things that are well-pleasing unto Yahweh Shai. And recognize your weak points, you know. Recognize your weak points, whatever you're weak at. Mm -hmm. The Lord gonna always, He always gonna bring that next test to you to to, to put you on another level, you know. That's and, what I'm pretty much saying. Just always be prepared for the next thing. And and pray. And pray exactly. Pray. That's shit. That's one of the uh, most vital things in this truth to pray. Fast, repent. Con. You got it, bro. Um, just to back up the brother because you said uh, the Lord ain't real. Okay. Ezekiel 12 and 22, it says, Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying, the days are prolonged and every vision faileth? So that's what everybody murmuring. Man, the Lord slack is on his promise. Y'all keep saying he's going to come back in, 20, in 2000. Y'all say he's going to hit 2012. This, that, and the third. And just because it hasn't happened yet, you are losing. You really, you're not losing faith, but you never had faith to begin with. Mm -hmm. And you feel like the longer it's taken, it's proving your point. Mm -hmm. But it was never proving your point. You, you're just impatient, just like your daddy. It says, verse 23, tell them, therefore, thus says the Lord, Yahweh, I will make this proverb to cease. That proverb is going to be no more. All of that chit chatting. That's with Khan. All of that chit chatting that day, that Lord, he's going to catch you. He's going to catch you like, uh, <laughs> what's that? What's that? Big baby uh, called dude at ATL. I've been looking for you, playboy. It says, tell them, therefore, thus says the Lord, how I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. You're not going to be able to say all that when when prophecy on your ass. Mm -hmm. Wild beasts, right. burger troops, cannibals, all these things around each every corner. You're not going to be able to say, the Lord, uh, uh, as soon as you, the Lord, uh, dead, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right. It says, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand in the effect of every vision. So that, that day that you was hoping for oh so much, it's said now. What you got to do? What you got to say? What you got to show for what you've been doing? Right? It says, For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination. No more false prophecy. No more talking. All of those things that you think, just like when they say, uh, while the heathen rage, imagine the vain thing. All that, it's dead. He's going to show you what's really going down next. It says, Within the house of Israel, for I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall no more be prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and perform it, says the Lord Yahweh. So in that day, he gonna, he gonna put action behind them words. You wanted it so bad? Hell, huh. you wanna see me? You wanna see what I'm talking about? I'm gonna show you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all, all that trouble is gonna be gone. Yeah, because you know, Jake always likes to murmur. Mm -hmm. Always has something to say. Always got something to say. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord's gonna have, <laughs> what did he say? He said, uh, the Lord. How oh, they said the oh, Lord God. laughs for he sees his coming, something like that. They said the Lord shall laugh for he sees his days are coming, something like that. It's crazy because in our reality, it already even happened. It's done. <laughs> it's uh, Psalm thirty-seven and thirteen. Really, it's going into uh, Esau, Edom, but yeah. you could apply it to two thirds of our people too. Real quick, Psalm 37 and 13, it says, oh The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. So, then, like the brother had mentioned, again, uh, to quote that, that Proverbs 1, that, uh, you know, he's basically going to make mockery. Yep. You know, he, he's laughing at Esau Edom. <laughs> what? Because he thinks that he got next. He thinks that he could achieve immortality. But he sees that his day is coming. He's, <laughs> he's going to get the last laugh. You know, and he's going to put to shame all those that, uh, uh, yeah, he's going to put to shame all those that think that they're, uh, 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 gods when they're not. That's why the prophet's not going to argue with you. That's why the Lord said, um, come upon that house. If that house accepts you, give it peace. Mm -hmm. If that house doesn't accept you, wipe the dust off thy feet for it should be worse for them than the day of Sodom and Gomorrah. Huh. So if, if they not trying to receive that. If they're just trying to scoff, let them scoff. Because in the end, that scoff is going to get them smoked. If a nigga ain't, uh, what are you saying? If, if a nigga ain't getting it, we're moving on. <laughs> <Come> on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to teach them, you the ABC. No, the elder. Back in the day. God. That's all I had. God. Y'all got some? Uh, that's. 
Pentecost. Okay, so with that, uh, Lord willingness was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Shalom. Wa Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Wa Ba Ba Ba. Ba Ba Ba.